But the easiest way to make new polymers is to alter the chemical composition of the beginning monomer. Such changes will radically affect a polymer's characteristics. Let's see what happens when we begin to make simple changes in an ethylene molecule. Let's remove one of the hydrogen atoms and substitute a benzene ring. We have produced a new monomer. This is styrene, a large and bulky molecule compared to ethylene. The benzene rings stick out at random to the left and right. The polystyrene cup shatters. It's brittle because the polystyrene chains are more rigid. This time, we will replace one of the hydrogen atoms with a cyanide group. This is the monomer acrylonitrile. The polymer is polyacrylonitrile, a tough fiber which is woven into clothing and carpets. The difference is a result of polarity. The acrylonitrile is more polar than the ethylene unit, so the polymer chains containing cyanide groups are attracted to one another more than the chains with just hydrogen atoms. That's why we walk on tough polyacrylonitrile and wrap sandwiches with flexible polyethylene.